It's Travis. How are we doing today? Great. All right. Well, last night my wife was trying to move her Jeep. It did something really strange. The front brakes grabbed on her and almost launched her into the steering wheel. Well, kind of got to go find out what it was. Well, I grabbed my old towel here, went ahead and punched it out. And the first thing it gives me is the nice little... Uh, code of the U140B, the implausible left wheel speed signal received, okay, and on top of that, that was for the ABS, now, or for the transmission, then we go to the ABS, and we go ahead and bring in the read code, and it's the left rear wheel speed comparative performance C102A what that is is basically the speed sensor this little thing right here went bad on it backtracked it through and everything and uh, this is the brand new one it ohms down you know I set it at 20k or 2000k and uh, it was at 453 so here on Monday after I've replaced it we'll go ahead and test it out but this is a common thing with all um, uh, Jeeps so um, front or rear this is a rear and uh, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and replace it and hope like heck that it does clear up and she don't have the feeling of getting thrown into the front of her Jeep Oh, and the tools you'll need, 8mm ratchet, white tip screwdriver, and a flashlight of course, just to make sure you get in the area. Um, the next part I'll show you exactly where it is and what we got to do. So hang in there. Okay, this is part I wanted to show you. For my uh, Altel, what I can do is go in and see each individual one and see where their speed is. When I took it out and road tested it yesterday, the one that was bad, I didn't get a signal. I got a signal from the first three, but the last one, the one we're going to replace, I didn't get a signal. So that was the other thing I could tell that there was either a bad sensor or bad wiring. But um, checked the fuses and everything, and I know the wire layouts of the sensors, so there's no area of chafing, and the Jeep's not jacked up, and it's stock. So, anyways. We'll get back to it here in a sec, so hang on. Alright, what we're going to remove is that little thing right there. You'll see that there is a 8mm nut. It's got a plastic clip over it. It's got a little red lock tang on the side of it, right at the top. Pop that out, slide that out, unscrew that, pull it out. If you can, get something in there to clean it out and make sure its area is fairly decent. And that's about it. That's on both through the rear. The fronts are different. There's other how-tos on that, but this is primarily where you're going to be working to go ahead and get that right there. And that's what it looked like coming out. See, it's a magnet inside there. It's got all that nice shavings. It's only got 26,000 miles, 27,000 miles, and it's a pavement princess. We haven't done anything to her Jeep, not yet. Wanted to put bigger tires and some other toys on there, but it's kind of odd. It almost tells me like there's an ender grinding of uh, the rotor. But anyways, that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna go over here and I'll just check it real fast. She's deader than a doornail. No ohms whatsoever. No signs of it. So it's basically an open connection. So, go back to the other one just to double make sure that I'm on the right path. And bingo, I'm good. All right, so we know this one's bad. Home's out. It's toasty. We know this one's good. It's reading the homes like it should. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in. But when I put it back in, put a little dielectric grease on the things. And then around here, because there is a little bit of corrosion and rust in there. But basically make sure it's clean. 
take Q-tip, go inside. Now, what I'm gonna do at the end of this video, I'm gonna link you to another video that is um, South Florida Jeep Club has an excellent tutorial, better than anybody I could see. So if you guys just bear with me, we'll get through this, reset the codes, I'll road chip it, and we'll come back and we'll see if it shows up. All right, hang in there guys. We couldn't get above five mile an hour before the brakes decided to do their little thing. If you notice, shut up. We're back to normal. No grabbing. Everybody's reading what they're supposed to. No intermittents. So, it's a quick fix. And we're back up and running. 